What is going on guys? In today's video, we're going to talk about why so many men are stuck, why they don't have clarity on their next step in life, how to develop the clarity, the confidence, and the courage to step onto their path. Let's get into it right now. Let's go. So getting into this video, and actually I want to kick off this video from one of my favorite quotes from Jordan Peterson. He says, most men live lives of quiet desperation. I lived that life for many years. And the way I interpret that quote and the way I feel that quote is so many men have this inner line in them, this energy, this desire to create, to become this incredible man. But it's like that line is in a cage inside of them. He doesn't know how to get out. He doesn't know where to use his energy. He doesn't know where to focus that time, energy, and effort in order to create that life he wants, right? In order to have the travel, in order to have the body, in order to have the business, whatever it may be. I felt that for many years. And if you know my story in my mid twenties, broke, out of shape, all this stuff, trying to figure that out. And like many men, they spend a lot of time reading personal development books. You might be in the same place, reading personal development books, binge watching YouTube videos. What's my path? And most men fall into what I call the money trap. And the money trap is thinking that I will get the life I want when I make the money, when I make 10K a month, when I make 30K a month, when I make 50K a month, when I make 15K a month, whatever it is. What I wanna talk about today is why most men are stuck and how to get unstuck, to start being consistent and developing that higher frequency of energy where you feel like you're creating the life that you really want. So what I found in my own journey is that most men are stuck in one of three areas, clarity, confidence, or courage. And this is super powerful. So let me describe these areas. Clarity is, this is the majority of men, they're not clear on what they should do next. They're not clear on where they should focus their energy and their effort. And so they're saying things like, I'm not sure where to start. I'm not sure what to do. I'm not sure what I'm passionate about. That is people in the clarity category. The second stage is people in the confidence category. So that's people who are saying like, I think I know my passion is around coaching as an example, but I don't know if I have the skills to do it. I need to take another course. I need to learn more. I need to, all of these things, right? So that's a lack of confidence. They're not sure if they actually have the skills to be able to do that thing they want to do. And then the third place is courage. And so there's a lot of people in this stage that think they're in the stage of clarity. So courage is actually, they know what they want to do. They believe they can do it, but they're scared to take the leap off the ledge. And I see this all the time. Talented people, this was me for two years talented, I had the abilities, but I was like, oh, I'm not sure if I can do it. I was scared. I was scared to put myself out there in front of people. I was scared to make videos. I was scared to be quote unquote a coach. And so I didn't take that leap. That's the three areas, the three categories that I see most people stuck. Clarity, I'm not sure where to go. I'm not sure what to do. I know I wanna do something different. Then confidence, I know what I wanna do. I don't know if I have the ability to actually do it. And then courage, I know what I wanna do. I believe I have the ability, but I'm scared to take that leap off the ledge and fully step into it. So how do you get out of each of these different stages? And one thing, if you're watching this video and you know friends or family in this stage, please send this video to them. Because so many people get stuck in one of these three categories for years of their life. I was that guy. I was stuck in clarity and I was stuck in courage, probably in total for about five years. And it's a waste of life, it's a waste of time. How do you get out of clarity? If you're in that first stage, right? How do you start to get clear on your next path, your next step? I think clarity is the biggest fallacy or false reality for most people. See, every one of us, I believe, has a unique path in our life, has a unique calling, unique skill sets, unique interests to be able to give our abilities and skills to the world. If you listen to great artists like Pablo Picasso, Albert Einstein, all of these sharp minds, they were aware that they had something unique to give to the world. And more evidence for this is if you guys know the story of the hero's journey. Every culture in human history has loved this story structure. The story structure is about a hero, Frodo Baggins, Harry Potter, Moana, that doesn't feel like they're skilled enough that has a calling, something they're supposed to do to give to society, humanity, but they're too short or they're unintelligent or they're a woman, whatever the quote unquote disability they have in the movie is for them to not be able to do it. 
But for all of recorded human history, no matter the culture, no matter the people, humans have loved this structure, this story structure. Every human society, every human culture has told stories in this way. Why is that the case? In my belief, that is because this is the story of you and this is the story of me and it's the story of all of us. All of us have our own hero's journey. All of us have our own unique calling and our own unique gifts. And so how to find that if we're stuck in clarity? A couple things, big picture. First, you need to start to understand yourself. Realize that the more you create connection with yourself, the more you spend time with yourself. One of the things I have all my clients do that work in my program is they go on self dates, meaning they go take themselves to a coffee shop without their phone, without a book, without anything, and sit there for an hour, two times in a week, just sitting there with themselves, building relationship with themselves. So that's the first thing, start to develop that connection with yourself so you can hear your intuition start to guide you. And the second point, the most powerful one, is most people aren't really stuck in clarity, but they believe they are. Because there's a fallacy that humans have that I'm going to start doing that thing I'm interested in once I know the entire journey, right? Once I know exactly how all of these paths lead to an end destination, then I will start doing it. But that is not how life works. Life never gives you the full journey. Or if it does, even as you start to walk that journey, it changes completely. So what is life about? It's about having the courage to take the first step. When I started in my coaching business, I didn't really know exactly what it was gonna turn into, but I knew I was interested in helping support men. I knew I was interested in helping them find their path, find their power, most confident version themselves. So I created a Facebook group and I started adding men into it and it started to grow. I didn't have the entire journey planned out, right? I wasn't here in my head. I had the first step. So if you're in that location for yourself, what is that first step for you? Don't worry about the step two, step three, step four. Go have that conversation. Go post that video. Go call that person. Whatever that first step is, take action on that. That is how you get out of clarity. You don't need the entire roadmap. Just take the first step that you feel is right for you or that you're interested in. And as you do, the path will illuminate more and more to you as you start to walk down it. So that's how you get out of clarity. Um, if you have any more questions on that, drop me a comment below as well. The second step is confidence. Okay, I kind of know what I want to do. I'm interested in psychology. I'm interested in coaching. I'm interested in whatever it is. How do I start to get the confidence to know that I can do it? It is by doing it. When I started in coaching, I didn't know how I was going to do my coaching. I posted a story on my Instagram. I said, if anyone needs help figuring out their path, I'm doing free calls, hop on a call with me. I didn't have the confidence to know how to do it. I just got on the call and all I did is talk to people like, hey, where are you stuck? Oh, you're stuck here? Oh, you're stuck there? Hey, maybe try this out. I built the confidence by doing it, not by reading the next book, not by taking the next course, by actually doing it. That is how confidence is created, right? An example I often give my clients is, if you and I were to sit down and for the last two weeks, I read the Mario Kart manual, you know the game Mario Kart, right? If I read that manual for two weeks, knew all the buttons, knew all the different racetracks, all that stuff, and then you just played Mario Kart for two hours, and then you and I went and played, who's going to win? Me, who looked at the owner's manual and read the owner's manual for two weeks straight, or you who has played for two hours? This is life. Life is about learning by doing. Life is about taking action. And most people want to pretend it's about getting the education before you do it. And that is one of the traps. So confidence comes by taking the action. Don't build the website. Don't do all this stuff. Just start doing the process. Start selling the product. Start doing it for free. Whatever it is, start putting yourself out there and that confidence will start to grow. If you want to get more confidence in growing a business, start running a business, start selling things. If you want to get more confidence in coaching people, start coaching people, start helping people. That is how you get out of the stage of confidence is actually just by doing the action. The third category we talked about, and this is courage. Courage is a sneaky one because courage, most of the time when people are caught in courage, they're saying they're caught in clarity or they're saying they're caught in confidence. They actually deep down know they can do it. They actually deep down know what they wanna do but they're saying, oh, I'm not sure if it's really right. It might be this, it might be that. Or they're saying, 
I don't really know if I have the ability to do it. This is courage. And the way to get out of the courage stage is to take action. To realize that no one was perfect on their first video. No one was perfect on their first coaching call. No one was perfect on their first business launch. No one was perfect on that first product. And let go of the judgment from others. Most people who are caught in courage, it's actually just fear of what other people are going to think if they fail. Recognize that failure is a stop to the destination of success. It's one of the pit stops. It's like stopping at a gas station. To find success, you're definitely going to fail a few times on that way to success. Accept it, realize it, and fail faster. The faster you fail, the faster you get to those checkpoints, those gas stations of failure, the sooner you're gonna be able to get to that end destination of that life you want. That is it, guys. These are the three categories or three phases that I see most people stuck in their life when they're in this place of desperation where they really want to get out of this frustration, where they really want to let the lion out and actually start taking that life they want. They're caught in one of these three areas. And one of the things I always say in these videos, and it's so powerful, I'm sharing this. It doesn't matter to me whether you guys are a part of this or not, but being in community with men who are going to call you on your bullshit we're going to say, hey, man, you're caught in confidence. Just take action. Hey, man, it sounds like this is what you want to do. Just go do it. This type of community absolutely changes your results. If you don't have people around you like that who are really pushing you and not letting you get away with your bullshit, click one of the links below, apply to join our community, or find someone else's community to join because it is so powerful to be in community with other men. It elevates your level to a completely different place. That is it, boys. Much love to all of you. Let's go get it. Let's go.